Hey guys, um, <clears throat> okay, so today I thought I would do a vlog on an email that I received this morning. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it is about Lieutenant J uh, Dan Choi. He is a native of California and an army lieutenant. And, um, he is currently facing possibly being discharged from the army because he confessed three little words and those words were I am gay yeah anyway so um I'm just gonna quickly um read you the email here or part of it anyway and then give you my opinion um, of what I think about all this, as well as some links afterwards, um, if you wish to help out, help him when he goes to court on Tuesday, um, to prove that it's not immoral to tell the truth, and yeah, that's pretty much what he's being fired for. Anyway, um, <coughs> so yeah, Dan Choi, a native of California and an army lieutenant, asked us to share this message with the Courage Campaign community. On Tuesday at 8 a.m., I will stand trial for speaking three truthful words. I am gay. On Tuesday, I will face a panel of colonels who will decide whether or not to fire me, to discharge me for moral and professional dereliction under the military's don't ask, don't tell policy. On Tuesday, I will try to prove that it's not immoral to tell the truth. As an infantry officer and an Iraq combatant or combat veteran, and a West Point graduate with a degree in Ara Arabic, I refuse to lie to my commanders, I refuse to lie to my peers, and I refuse to lie to my subordinates. My case requires that I provide personal testimony from people who can attest to my character. That's why several members of my military unit have written letters of support and offered to testify on my behalf. Now I need your help. Anyone who believes the army should not fire me can take a stand right now. I am bringing a statement of support to Tuesday's trial and I need you to add your signature to it. Anyways, yeah. Um. So when I received this email, um, 1,100... Uh, or 141,262 people had already signed it. Signed the Don't Fire Dan letter that was launched um, a few weeks ago by the Courage Campaign and Credo Mobile to President Obama, asking him to take leadership to bring this tragic, tragic policy to an end. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I believe that this is wrong. I mean, this is the year 2009, not 1909, and now people should be ex able to express themselves freely without feeling ashamed or having to worry about what others think of them. But unfortunately, it would appear that there are still some people who still judge others in this world based on who they are and who they love and what not <coughs> and they can still choose if they like for example if they're an employer or something they can choose if they want to have that person working for them or not which I think is completely stupid and there goes my cell phone again for the millionth time today um I'm just going to ignore it though and but yeah, um, because of this fact, I think that what Choi did was very courageous and Lieutenant Choi should not have to give up on his career choice 
just because of what others think. Um, I mean, what it all boils down to is that gay, bi, or straight, or whatever, we are peop all people in the end anyway, and it shouldn't matter um, who we are or who we love. Um, yeah, we should all have equal rights to be who we want and do what we want as long as, you know, nobody gets killed or hurt or anything like that and there are no serious consequences of our actions. And it shouldn't be illegal to work somewhere just because one is gay. Um, yeah. I don't know. Firing Choi just because he was honest about being gay would be like firing someone who admitted to having a past as a criminal and it may be a sin in some people's eyes to be gay but it is definitely not a crime and should not be treated as such um, yeah and people shouldn't have to be punished for admitting that they're gay and you know have their rights taken away for um admitting to their homosexuality and yeah anyways um yeah okay so i was going to um give you guys some links about um like if you agree with me and, and want to help choi um by finding the letter um so yeah <coughs> Over, um, wait, there, yeah, um, you see all those links that are there, um, for example, the one for, um, the text for, that you can enter on Twitter, um, on Facebook, um, post the link that you see there, um, and, yeah, also, um, if you want, you can um, post your own blog with your opinion on this. Or vlog, I mean. Whatever. Um, to your, your own um, YouTube profile, if you have one. And, um, yeah, also, um, there's also an email posted down there that you can um, send to your friends and family. <coughs> and, um, yeah, you can get them to sign the, um, campaign too. And, yeah, on a side note, um, yesterday something very tragic happened. First of all, at, I believe it was, quit texting me, 9.48 a.m., um, Farrah Fawcett, um, it was announced that she had passed away, uh, which was really sad. She was an awesome actress. Um, she was in Charlie's Angels, as you all probably know, in the 1970s. She starred in that. And um, also, um, yesterday afternoon, um, or evening, um, uh, Michael Jackson also passed away, which was quite sad as well, and sa sudden, and yeah, he was also really another great person, um, well, I mean, well, I don't know, um, there's been a lot of controversy with him over the last several years, because, well, there was the whole case with the child molestation thing, and yeah, and people just, I don't know, it seems, and it seems like the media has been like, I don't know, I think the media has been making things out to be worse than they really were with him. So, yeah, anyways, um, I hope they both can rest in peace now, and I'm going to end this video, because it is almost at 10 minutes, and I know that I can only post videos that are like 10 minutes long, so, um, until next time, bye!